beautiful morning this morning. It's a bit chilly. But uh, we had a little bit of rain last night. Come out to about 62 mils. So, uh, a little bit of rain yesterday. It was quite heavy. So, that's all good. We'll go and get some cows in now. And, uh, so there's going to be a bit of flooding on the farm today. That explains why I can't see much. There's only one light working. Oh, morning ladies. Hope you all lasted last night. There was a couple of booms and cracks. Bit of a thunderstorm rolled through. I can see a little bit of flooding around the place, but I can't show you because uh, the phone won't pick it up. Well, we'll just follow these girls up and go milk them. <laughs> Dad just helped me cut the first row. We're just waiting now, waiting for the girls to finish. Um, we've got a cow up here. She has got a guts ache, that one there. She moves around, stops around a lot. Can't cup her, so the best thing is just to leave her be. And we'll um, milk her tonight. She's trying to go down. Come on, stand up. Not good. Come on. Shh, shh. All right, milking was successful. We had a couple of, a little bit of hiccups, but otherwise, we went well. Just a couple of cows acting up with that thunderstorm that rolls through. They didn't like that. Wash up went well. We are ready for the shed inspector. We had to wash all the pipes down, wash everything out properly. I've got a bag of meal on the back, some hay. And we're going down to feed the calves now. The shed inspector will be here in 15 minutes. Hey y'all. Yes, 62 mils of rain does this. And um, this isn't the height of it either because it's two more days, in two days time, that's when it peaks, so. <laughs> bit of water, bit of water. Otherwise, the little calves in the thunderstorm only went through into the uh, other paddocks. They're all happy over there. Ah. All meal fed, hay rack refilled, calves fed, dad shifted these girls to higher ground, which was the girls that were in amongst the trees that are now underwater. And Dad's yeah, just going to go take the balls and the other ones up and chuck them in a paddock so they're able to swap here. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what do you mean, ooh? Uh... <laughs> nice. These girls are looking happy. Happy cows. They milked really well this morning. Uh, yesterday we said 5,500 litres. You can see all the pipe work. Spotless. Melbourne, clean. We're ready to go. Yeah. Inspection. We've just got a bit of cleaning to do, but that's all right. So we had our shed inspection. We passed. A few things we need to work on. Like, uh, our chemicals are too close to the last cups. So the cups are here. And our container that carries our chemicals is there. So we've got to move our chemicals because they can't be within 20 meters of the last set of cups of any of the cups, so. Well, there we go, that works out well. That's our only major. Uh, other little things, like just keeping the cow shed surroundings clean, and um, yeah, and ah, easy peasy. Otherwise, we split up the bulls as well. There's our bulls, boys there. Happy out there for now. They're gonna get shifted. Dad's gonna go set up paddock for them. Cool, I'll wash this. And we'll see us see what else we get up to today. Dad carved one cow today, this morning, because she was having a bit of trouble. There she is in the clip tank paddock now. We're just going down a lot of the bulls away. Uh, there's a little bit of water around here, but it's not, not too bad. Most of it looks like it's going to absorb the tip of what was in the swamp. Um, and also, I got a Snapchat from a mate. He had 90 mils. 
just locked the bulls away. They're happy in their paddock. They've got quite a bit of grass. Sorry, I didn't take a photo or a picture of it. Just washing the vet now. The tank has been through that wall is where our cups are. We were, to we were told we're not allowed within 20 metres any chemical, even if they're in a shed container. Oh well, so we shift them, put them somewhere else. We had to shift all our chemicals, put them all over here as far away from the shed in the milking room as possible. Right with the salt, so we'll get some salt now. We'll go put it in the uh, feeder because what happens in a heavy rain, salt dissolves. So the salt's as clean as a whistle. There we are. One bucket full of doom nicely. Hey, we'll call it a day there. We'll see you all at milking tonight. Afternoon, everybody. Picked up a nice little calf there. There's Bum. That is good. Sheep is. It's got a lot of grass in it. This is where they're going tonight for two nights. Nice and close to the cow shed. Good, good, low scratches. Everybody, everyone's getting milked. First row's cut, second row's washed. Yeah, we've got um, the lost some cows on. That was just a free titter. It's our new colostrum girl, really good colostrum. Yes, here's our one that had a bit of a gut ache this morning. She's definitely a lot better now. She feels a lot better. Good girl. Good girl. Right. Second row about to walk out. Second to last row leaving. Doing a good job. His dad and Tessa McKenzie on the gate. Dallas was there before, but he just wandered off. That's all right. Right. Keep going. Most of these girls are finished. They're only right out there tonight. Easy peasy. Get to sleep in tomorrow morning. Okay. Finished. Temperature's five degrees. Happy with that. That's all locked down. Calves are all fed. Cows are locked away. Dad has fed the cows. Oh, the milkers of the milkers. The dry cows about to calve. Some hay. There we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over there. And the little cubbies. Eight. Eight left. Oh, cool. Not many left. That's for today. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Good boy. Hey. Ah. Oh. Yummy. Mmm, lollies. Well, not lollies, uh, snack.